hi guys so it's me it's a new style of video this time around I'm doing like a sort of showing you what I eat in a day so um, I do do intermittent fasting and um, I tend to break my fast with a smoothie so I'm showing you here what I put in my smoothie basically and I actually feel like um, this smoothie that I have pretty much like six days in the week is a big contributor to why I have good skin because I tend to use um, ingredients that have a lot of omega-3 in them and yeah so I'm just basically showing you um, what I use to make my smoothie I pretty much weigh my ingredients um, because obviously like you know I do do the keto diet so I track my macros, make sure that I don't go above the 20 grams net carbs daily. So I tend to keep an eye on um, basically counting my macros. I use a teaspoon basically of most of, of my um, sort of flax seeds and hemp and chia seeds. However, for the avocado oil, which you will see in a moment, I use, I believe it's half a tablespoon. And a lot of this, um, like turmeric and cinnamon, have amazing health benefits. So you might want to look up the health benefits of um, this ingredients I like to add lemon to my smoothie because it sort of takes away that bitter taste of the grains And I just whiz it around in my Nutribullet. If you don't have a Nutribullet, you can use um, a blender for this as well. I believe that works just as well. And that's my smoothie. So that's what I drink to break my fast. On this particular day, it was a bit of a lazy day in terms of I just put together a lot of um, leftovers <laughs> to make a meal really. So yes, you can have bread on keto, and that is a meat pie, you're not seeing things. I do uh, make a lot of my food, and I um, basically try not to feel like I'm missing out on the foods that I like. So when I feel like having bread, I would make bread. This is a recipe that I found on the dietdoctor.com website. I like eating fish, so if you don't like fish, you can substitute this for chicken. But um, yeah, that's one that I opened the day before. So I just use the leftover sardines and that's the brand that I like to use. Just put that in my roll and yeah. And I'm, I did make this meat pie myself as well. I was craving meat pie earlier in the week and I used the fat head recipe. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you. I hope you enjoy this style of video. It's different for me, but I enjoyed filming it. And I'll catch you guys in another video very soon. Take care, guys. Bye.